What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. And in the last video, I showed you how to loop your automation data within a track. This time I'm gonna show you how to actually embed that automation data into the region. So it doesn't matter what uh, track that region is on, it's still gonna carry that automation with that uh, region when you move it. So with that said, I'm gonna get straight into the tutorial. So here's my automation right here. I'm gonna click A on my keyboard. That brings up my automation. Here is my automation. Again, it's just volume up and down just so we can hear the automation going up and down. So like I said today, I'm going to show you how to embed that track automation into the actual region itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select my region, go to track, track automation, and go to move visible track automation to region. And then basically what it does, it takes that uh, automation and embeds it right into that region. Or you can go ahead for as a shortcut, go control command down arrow. Again, control command down arrow, down arrow, and it will go and embed that automation right into the region. So now when I go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what happens when I create another track. Oops. And we'll do a stereo track. Take off my automation. Basically, if I go ahead and move this to another track, I'm going to say don't move my automation data. There it is. My automation data is still there because it is embedded into the region. So now it does not matter any track that I'm on the automation will always be with it. And that is a beautiful thing because let's say you want to copy this kind of region to another track and then you have to worry about the automation moving with it and then it doesn't move with it and it's just a mess. When you embed the automation right into the track, you can move your region wherever you want and the automation will follow. And then again, you can go ahead and copy that. You can go ahead and loop that and all the automation will be with it. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, you still got to turn on read for the automation for Logic Pro to read that automation data. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you embed track automation data into the actual region itself. This will help you once you have your long tracks, your automation is all done. You kind of want to embed into the tracks. So you never lose the spot at which the automation occurred. So with that said, you can ask me any questions in the comment section. And as usual, more great videos always coming soon, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Later.